Mac 101, Applications and Folders. By now you know that all those little icons that you see on your Finder, finder window, Desktop, and Dock all mean something, but what? What's the difference between a file and an application, and what's the difference between a photo file, a music file, or text file for that matter? An application is basically a computer program that gives users the tools to accomplish specific tasks. For example, you're probably using the Safari application right now to read this web page. If you want to send, a, send and receive emails, you need an email application, such as mail. If you're wanting to type a resume or use a word processing application, such as Pages and iWorks, or even text edit. To open an application, either double click its icon in a finder window or click it in the dock box if it's there. Depending on the application, it may display an interface window, palettes, toolbars, or other interface components. Or it could display nothing at all until you open a file and create a new one. To quit an application, choose Quit from its application menu. Keep in mind that closing a window by clicking the round red button will typically not quit the application. Either choose Quit from the application menu or use the keyboard shortcut by pressing the Command key and the Q key simultaneously. Folders on your Mac function just like the tangible folders in the real world without the wear and tear. Basically, you use them to organize your applications and files. Your home folder the house icon named after your user account name contains several subfolders such as music, movies, pictures. These help to keep all your files organized by type. The applications folder contains all your applications. The systems folder contains all the files that makes your Mac a Mac. And the desktop folder contains all the stuff that's currently on your desktop. If you want to add more folders to set up an organizational scheme, here's how to create a new folder. Make the Finder active, click the desktop, click inside any Finder window, or double click the hard drive, or click the Finder icon in the dock. From the File menu, choose New Folder. A new Untitled Folder icon appears on the desktop. Name your folder by simply typing a name in the highlighted text box below the icon. I find that I need to click on it so that it becomes a square instead of a rounded bottom area and then I can type in my folder name. You now can drag files, folders, and applications that you want into this new folder or drag the folder into any other folder to establish a hierarchy. Or you can simply press the Shift Command N key combination. If you're interested in getting info or find out information about any particular folder, file, or application, command your Mac to get the info. Here's how. Select any file, folder, or application by clicking once on its icon. From the File menu, Choose Get Info. The window lists several info categories, such as General, More Info, Preview, Ownership, and Permissions. These items are marked with a disclosure triangle. If a category has its information displayed, the triangle will be facing downwards. If the disclosure triangle is pointing to the right, click it to display the information. Click the General Disclosure Triangle to see its contents. The General pane displays some file type information for your chosen item, including the kind, where it's located, the date it was first created, and the last date it was modified. When you're done scoping things out, close the window by clicking the round red button in the upper left hand corner. Notice you can also rename a folder here under Name and Extensions, and you can read and write and change your privileges 
depending on the access that you have into the laptop.